So, so hello people, how are you going today? It's a beautiful day to show you another banknote. And this is the banknote of the Reserve of Road, no, Reserve Bank of Rhodesia. Sorry about that. And it is a ten dollar banknote issued in nineteen seventy five. Okay. And with this series, you have a one, two, and five, and I'm in the process of actually trying to get those so I can show you. Um, so this banknote is pretty uh, basic. All the banknotes are this design. Um, so we have the coat of arms of Rhodesia here. There's a uh, two animals. They are most likely sable antelope. That is the same animal that is here. You can tell by the um, see the patination on the face and the actual horns. It's pretty much the same as that animal there. And we have a plant here. Now I've been unable to identify that plant. So if anyone has actually any references, can they leave it in the links below? And this banknote was replaced in 1980 by those of uh, Zimbabwe at the rate of uh, 1 to 1. So this would have been equal to 10 Zimbabwe dollars. Now, all these banknotes were issued with the J prefix, which is here, and now issued up to like um, the 60 range. So it's probably like 600 million banknotes. In now we have a rock stack. It actually, from the geology, it looks like it's a granite rock stack. Um, on the banknotes of Zimbabwe, they have one called the Chirimba Balancing Rock Formation, but that is actually a lot smaller than this, and this looks quite large from the actual plants that are on it. If we can get a close up. Yeah, you can see that there's some shrubs or small trees or something on the top. So it indicates that this, this formation is actually quite big. But I'm unable to identify that as well. Okay, and down here, security features are uh, plants. They, if you don't look at the banknote uh, clearly or thoroughly, you will miss. Yeah. Watermarks this one. Oh, there is a watermark of uh, Cecil Rhodes, who explored uh, um, Rhodesia and actually died there. And we have a security thread, which is pretty standing in the banknotes of the 70s, except for the United States. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the front. So we can turn over to the back. Oh, look, we have Great Zimbabwe. Now, Great Zimbabwe is a uh, an abandoned city in Zimbabwe for which the country is actually named and oh, if you look on Wikipedia you can actually uh, find a lot of information on Zimbabwe now for some reason these banknotes of Rhodesia are actually um, in demand so you're not actually going to find one of these for like five dollars or whatever. These banknotes generally cost a lot more, thirty, forty dollars. This one's probably twenty in this condition. As you can see, the security threads coming out. It's a bit damaged, worn. Uncirculated ones will go for well, up to a hundred or more dollars, depending on what you're willing to pay. Okay. And these trees within the ruins of Zimbabwe grew after the abandonment. So here we have a, looks like a, a tower, probably a lookout tower for the actual walls of the, um, of the city. And 18,000 people were proposed to actually have uh, lived um, inside this place. And they, they, the archaeologists um, believe that it was actually just a royal residence, a seat of power, like a capital city, in which um, all civilizations actually develop. 
Okay. So, that's a Rhodesian $10 banknote from 1975. I hope you like these banknotes. They're not bad. They're actually because of the history of Rhodesia. I'm not sure why these are popular. As the banknotes of uh, like Z Zambia and Malawi are actually not that popular. So, give it a thumbs up if you like this banknote. Uh, please subscribe so I can show you more of my collection. And just leave a comment down below if you want to comment on this uh, banknote. Thank you very much and have a nice day.